Welcome to my channel. What we are talking about today is getting the correct posture and setup in the golf swing. So in this video today, I am going to show you how to find the correct posture and the correct ball position for you. Now, everyone is different in this. And as this video goes along, I'll explain it. And then towards the end, I'll show you the ball positions for a pitching wedge, a five iron and a driver. Now, if you like this video, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell, and you'll receive a video each week. So, when we're talking about ball positions and setups and things like that, it is all determined by a couple of things. And one of them is going to be your arms, how long your arms are, across here, compared to your height. Now, I'm five foot eight. This is a picture of me, and my wingspan is 5'11". So I've got long arms. So what that means for me when I set up to the ball is my posture is going to be a little bit more upright than other people. So as we go along, and I'll show you as we screw along, so what the, how we're going to find the correct position is you have a slight bend of the knees. Now you put your right arm or your trail hand down onto your right leg, and the middle finger should touch the top of your kneecap. So see as I start to slide my arm down. Now that is the correct balance point. Now my arms are a bit longer, so I'm going to look a little bit more upright. And what I mean by that is my posture is going to look a little bit this way. Now just imagine if you had shorter arms to reach that, you would bend over more like this. So short arms compared to your height you need to bend over more. If your arms and height are the same and you're genetically blessed, well, you have a neutral setup. And if you've got long arms like myself, you're gonna be a little bit more upright. So there's the position there. So that's how you're, you find your ideal position. As I said before, there is not one way, not everyone has to do it exactly the same. But that little test I just showed you there with the trail hand sliding down your leg, and on top of your kneecap, so it doesn't go past your knee, so at the top of your kneecap will give you the ideal position. So when it comes along now, I'm gonna scroll along, I'm gonna move along, and we're gonna show you when I grab a pitching wedge out here. So this is now a pitching wedge. As you can see, I put my right hand on my knee. If you actually watch me play any tournaments, I actually do this as part of my pre-shot routine in the goal swing. So what we're doing is just letting your left arm hang down, Right hand on the kneecap, and there's your ideal position for me. Now I've got the long arms, as I said, and that is what we need. So then we go across, we go to a five iron. You do the exact same principles for this. Right hand on the knee, left arm just hangs down. That is your ideal position. The same thing for driver. So it all comes out exactly the same. Right hand on the knee. And you'll see. So now we come down talking about ball position. So weight distribution and ball position. So we've got a pitching wedge here. So right hand on the knee, as you see, I'm always incorporating this to get the right distance from the ball. So now I've got 60% of my weight on my left leg. Now the ball position, pretty much in the middle of the stance. So that is what we are trying to achieve in this setup. Now the shoulders are just slightly inside shoulder width, the stance, sorry. And now, so we've got a five iron here, and now we're gonna have 50-50 weight distribution. Scroll that back a little bit, and the ball position is just forward of center. So that's the ideal position for what we need. Shoulders just on, uh, feet just on shoulder width apart. And then we go to driver. Now the driver, 60% weight on your right foot. Stance is outside shoulder width. And we need the ball is sort of on the left heel. So they're the things we are looking at for your setup. So once you get all them right, you're off to go. You've got no excuses. They're the things you can control in the golf swing. So remember, setup is the key. Now, if you've got any questions, please send me a 
comment a message in the comment section and I'll endeavor to get back to you. Now, if you're after some lessons, I'm teaching at Kidsburg Golf Club in Melbourne or online on the Skillist app.